Okay. I restart this target VM. If you remember, it was giving error before that virtualization is disabled because app volume manager is not configured. And after rebooting, it that message disappear. The reason is now because app volume manager is configured, and this agent can now talk to app volume managers, so manager, so it knows that it is configured. So that's why that error simply disappears. So this is my target device. Means this is the virtual machine I will use to provision my applications. And the first step of course is to create app stuff and for that we need to switch to app volumes manager so let's do it okay I'm here at app volumes manager under app stacks and I'll go for create app stack and here I need to specify a name let's say test App stack and storage. This is the data store I would like to test, test app stack to be stored. Default path is okay with me. The template is okay with me. It's 20 gigs in size. And I'll say create. So creating tap, uh, app, uh, app stack called, which is whatever name is specified. Yeah, just wait for completion. Or it can be done in background, but I would prefer it to be done before we proceed. And here it is. App stack created successfully. It's called test app stack, and right now it has no application. So next step is select the provisioning VM. And how we do that, when we say provision, it will say specify a computer account of a VM that you will be using for provisioning applications. And that's what it says also. Only computer with the app volume agent installed will be shown below. Computer must be running, have no app stack attached or writable volume. Okay. So I think if I search it will find this one, which is W10, and this is exactly the one which I want. And after selecting this computer account, I will say provision, and it will ask me to start provisioning of app stack, test app stack on computer ID sense slash W10. W10 is the computer, and you know dollar indicates a computer account. Yes, start provisioning. And now it's attaching app stack, which is a 20 gig disk, OVMD gig to this virtual machine. So that whenever, whatever we install will be saved on that. And now I'm back. And as you can see, the message appear on this virtual machine, the target virtual machine, that you are now in provisioning mode. Click OK only after you have completely installed all applications you wish to provision to this app stack so don't click ok now as far as the applications are concerned i have mounted an iso which has some applications which i would like to install so what i would like to do i would like to proceed with the installation of these applications there is nothing fancy to watch here so what I will do, I will pause the video and I will be back once I will install, finish installing some applications. One important point I would like to mention, it just came in my mind while I was installing applications. Whenever you install application while you are provisioning an app stack, make sure you install it for anyone, or for all users, not just for the user that you are currently logged in as. Okay, install it for all users. Okay, I have installed some applications. Uh, some of the example are OpenOffice, FileZilla, Foxit Reader, and I have installed Adobe Photoshop, 
challenge that sort of thing. I'm still in provisioning mode. So what we need to do we need to once we finish installing all applications we need to stop provisioning and how we need to stop provisioning that's how I'll tell you now but first thing first I would like to do to make sure there are no hiccups I will definitely disconnect the CD drive from the surgical machine So, there are no connections, you know, to any ISO and all that. No part of those connections, not part of any snapshotting or, or you know, or any cloning whenever it's required. So, once I disconnect the CD drive, which was in my case because I have the ISO mounted for applications to be installed, you can install over the network or whatever. And once you do that, of course, uh, once I'm okay with installing all my applications, or when I'm okay that I have all my applications that I want to be that stack, I'll click OK, and that's what it says. Click OK only after you have completely installed all applications you wish to provision to this app stack. So it's installation complete. System will reboot. Click Yes to finish and reboot computer, and click No to continue provisioning. It's giving you one another chance, but no. Thank you very much. Provisioning comes completed. So click yes. It means I'm done with provisioning. Now it's analyzing the installed applications and your computer will now reboot. Please log in after restart to complete the provisioning process. Okay. I will. So now the system is restarting. I will pause the video briefly and I will resume it once I will log. Okay, after a reboot, I log back in and there is a message with a thumbs up, provisioning successful, your newly provisioned application is now ready to use, don't forget to revert your virtual machine to the last known go before provisioning a new app, that's okay. So it means all done, provisioning complete. So let's move to Apollyon. And here we are. I'll refresh. And here it is. Test app stack. File name is test app stack .pmdk. This is the size. And that's what it is at the moment. With this app stack, and so once we have this app stack, which is that step, uh, desktop stack, as you can see, I just you know did that just to refresh. You can see what applications are there. Next step is to assign this app stack course once again as a reminder we can assign it to user accounts in active directory computer accounts in active directory groups in active directory as well as organizational unit in active directory but there's still there is one more step missing in my case which is yes installing app volume agents on my golden image I did install app volume agent on provisioning VM through which I provision these applications but I did not install uh, app volume agent on my golden image which is just a plain vanilla Windows 10 installation with some tweaks so for this purpose this is my VM that I would like to use W10 AD and what I would like to do I would like to install uh, app volume 
agent on this virtual machine. This is Windows 10 without any applications, just with some tweaks like join to domain, remote desktop enabled, some display settings changed, you know, firewall is disabled. I mean, whatever I like to have in, in my corporate Windows 10 media environment. Those settings are there. So what I'll do, I will install App Volume Agent on this computer as well. Okay, I have installed my App Volume Agent in this computer as well, and this is pretty much it. It has App Volume Agent as well as Citrix Virtual Delivery Agent. And it's a virtual machine, so of course we have VMware tools as well. That's it. No applications. No FileZilla. No Foxit Reader. No Adobe Acrobat. Oh, sorry, I mean, no Adobe Photoshop. And all those applications that I've installed on another target VM to provision App Stack. This is just Windows 10 as best. That's it. So that's it. That's what you need to do. Now the next step is, of course, I need to provision or create my catalog based on this virtual machine, which has uh, VD, Citrix VDA installed as well as App Volumes Agent installed. No applications. Again, no applications. So I will create my catalog based on this virtual machine. And of course, how to create catalog, how to create delivery group, it's not part of this video because you already know this. In case if you don't, you can always watch my previous videos in which I have covered in depth how to create machine how to create machine catalogs and how to create delivery groups. So I will See you in next uh, in the next stage when it's time to assign app stack to users.